Hi guys, welcome back to Crystal's Crochet and Stuff. I am Crystal. Um, today I'm doing the second day of August vlog a day. I don't know, there's a way to say it. I'm not going to even pretend I can say it, so I'm not gonna. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna manage to do a video every day, but I will try not to be like blah, blah, blah for eight hours. So, what to talk about? Yesterday, a lot of you were saying, not a lot of you, a few of you were saying that you couldn't really see me. I'm sorry, I had my camera play stupid because I was trying to show the sweaters I made. So someone said that they couldn't really see the, the sweater, the cocoon sweater I made. So I'm gonna try. So basically, this is the back panel and it's got the, I don't even know what you call it. It looks kind of like bows going all the way through the back. And then basically you fold it in half like a cocoon. And then there's a, a pattern that she did for to go all the way around. And it's different sizes. And it's just black. And this was the Touch of Alpaca yarn. Yeah, this was the Touch of Alpaca yarn by Lion Brand. I had, um, when Michaels had it, they, they clearanced it out and I bought like, five or six skeins of it. For that size, that's a 3X. It's um, It took three balls of the alpaca, a touch of alpaca yarn. Sorry guys, people keep driving. I got a delivery when I first started to try to film this. So I'm gonna try to get through this and um, do this quick. Okay, so that's the sweater. I showed it yesterday. I'm sorry if it wasn't very clear. I was thinking if I had my camera up higher, it would work better. And then when I was sitting, you couldn't see me. I'm sorry about that. I was not really planning it very well yesterday and that's what happened. So another thing I did finish, I was watching Rose Likes Crochet. Hi Rose. <laughs> um, she made like a million of these. I, I don't even know how this woman crochets as quickly as she does. She makes like a million shawls and a million hats and a million other things. And I'm like, I got one item done. I'm like, wow. <laughs> so she did the divine hat that she had seen off of, I think she said, Billy the Crafty Floridian. So I went on Ravelry. If I can remember, I'll try to post it down below. If I can't, I'm really sorry. I, my brain's like vacation mode. So I made one. And this is made from, and I still have it on my desk, out of, the Burnett Pop. Nope. That's not Mandela. Oh, right. This is the one that I bought on the clearance that somebody put the wonderful Mandela label on. And it's not Mandela. It's Burnett Pop. And I have no idea what the colorway is. I was going to show you and be like, oh, I finally remembered. I don't know what it is. I have no idea. So this is the colorway. But one thing I'm going to admit, okay, I posted this on Instagram as hat for my daughter with a matching hat for her doll it's not what happened <laughs> let me tell you what happened okay here it is this is the stupidest i don't know how i managed to screw it up so bad but i did i went down the hook size that the pattern says to go for the infant hat i have a friend that has an infant that's like she's a very tiny little one so i was gonna give her a hat well when i finished this my husband went what is that for a doll? And I went, ah, oh, it's for a baby. And he's like, I know we had babies like nine years ago and you don't remember, but he goes, there's no freaking way that's gonna fit on a baby's head. So I got my daughters to get me, I had bought a doll, like a baby doll. It didn't even fit her head. This fit the American Girl doll. <laughs> I'm laughing because I was so miffed. I'm like, how did I screw that up so bad? But yeah, I, I used the J hook for the adult hat and I used the H hook for the brim. And then it says, I'm not gonna show you the pattern, but for infant hat, or no, I'm sorry, for preemie version. I messed up bad, no, I don't know. No, I did the, yeah, okay, so I did the infant hat. Yeah, cause I did the 10 double, yeah, okay. So I did the infant hat and it's, um, it says to use an I hook and then switch to a G hook for the brim. Well, I used the I hook and then I switched to the G hook for the brim. I followed the pattern 
and this is what came out. Now I, I have tight tension, so I probably should have done the pattern, but used my size six hook. And then I probably would have got it uh, like a preemie hat. <laughs> No, I, I don't, and I, I'm so miffed by how I screwed this up. But anyway, it's a cute hat for the doll. I mean, it's cute, it's cool, but I'm, whatever. Anyway, I screwed it up. So that's the divine hat that I did. Um, I haven't got a whole lot that I can show you guys. I have, um, when I was filming the first time, I got, oh, my doorbell rang. And it was an order that I ordered from Sensi, like, I don't know, about a month and a half ago. I don't know why they were so backlogged, but they were. So I'm just gonna try to pull it out, and see if I can. The, the packaging is ridiculous. Like, who needs all this stuff? The box is huge compared to what I need it for. Look at this, all just packaging, like packing paper not even that many products in here one product i can't show you because it's christmas cards that i ordered with scents in them which i'm going to be giving to people so i don't want to show those because there's somebody that watches my channel that will be getting it and then i ordered a new warmer because let me tell you my wonderful husband and kids were playing with a crocheted ball and they smashed my warmer i was very unhappy so they had a, a wicked, wicked sale going on, on, I wonder if it tells me how much, no, it doesn't tell me how much I paid. Nope, they didn't even send a receipt. Good company. No, um, I shouldn't say that, they're okay. Uh, I know it was very cheap. It was something like $30 cheaper than it normally would be. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it from the box. It's the, I might not even keep it, I might give it away. So, I know a friend that likes these kind of things, so she'd probably want it. She could probably use it more than me, but we'll see. I will see if I can pull this out so you guys can actually see the Sensi Warmer. It's kind of cool. <laughs> it is, I think it's neat, but my husband's going to be like, what the hell did you need that for? So, it's a car. <laughs> My husband does like cars. He's going to play and go, I don't know why you wasted money on that. But it was a lot cheaper than initially, so I bought it. And I'm not sure if I'm keeping it or not. But it comes with the, the top of the car. And then you just, it has holes so it can heat up your, your waxes and stuff. And it's, the smells are good from the Scentsy stuff. So that's what I got. That's what just showed up at my door. Now, as I said, I'm trying to do the vlog, vlog a day, oh, I wish I knew what the word was, vlog in August, so vlog every day in August. I'm going to try to do that. I will be gone tomorrow and Sunday, so it's called vlogist, like that was so hard for me to remember, right, vlogist. Um, so I will be gone for the weekend, but I'm going to try to pop in from Ottawa and just do a quick hey how are you this is what's going on i will not be crocheting much because we're going to be having fun with my family and swimming it's going to be okay it's just going to be me me and the kids my husband's not coming this time so it should be interesting um so that's all i got today i don't want to keep it you guys too long because you guys will be like sick of me by the end of august i'm sure um i want to wish everybody a happy weekend I don't know if it's a long weekend in the States, but it is here in Canada. So to everyone here in Canada, if you're celebrating, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And if you're in the States, I just hope you have a wonderful weekend, even if it's not a long weekend. Um, enjoy. Do something fun. Spend time with family and friends. Just do something great. All right, guys. I will talk to you guys hopefully again tomorrow. And take care.